What's up, Cal Gang? All right, we're back with this problem. Uh, I just made a mistake, so we're solving it again. So let's go. All right, so we got this uh, this block of wood, right? And uh, it gives you all these dimensions. And it gives you that a, a block of lead is attached to the wood. And it wants to know how much, uh, what the volume of that lead has to be so that it just sinks below the surface and floats there, just below the surface. So what that means is that we're gonna be in static equilibrium, right? We're not gonna be moving up or down. That means that the force in the y direction is equal to zero, which is perfect for us. That's how we calculate things. So let's draw a force body diagram because that's what I like to do. So let's consider our whole system as one. So what are we gonna have acting on it? So let's, let's think about what is the lead doing to this? So lead has the force of gravity, of course, because everything has a force of gravity, but then lead also has the force of buoyancy. And then let's think about the wood. So the wood also has its gravity. And the, uh, lead, or the wood also has its buoyancy. So here what's acting on our block. And how are we going to use this? Well, let's plug it into this equation. So we know that all of this is going to be equal to zero. So let's just add them up. So we got, I guess we can use certain colors for this. So it's going to be force of gravity uh, of the wood uh, minus force buoyancy of the wood. And then, so it's going to be plus force gravity of the, of the lead, uh, minus force buoyancy of the lead. So it doesn't really matter which, cons which way you take this up or down, because it's in equilibrium, it's going to just all cancel out anyway, the negatives. So let's expand this, right? Uh, it's always what you want to do. So zero is equal to, so let's see, so it's going to be mass of the lead times gravity minus, so the force buoyancy is going to be the density of the liquid times gravity times the volume of the lead, or of the wood. I guess this is wood, whoops, okay. So then over here, of course, force gravity is the mass times gravity, and then minus, so density of the liquid, gravity times the volume of the lead. So of course we have all these gravities, these gravities are going to cancel, and just leave us with a more simple equation. That's going to look like... 0 is equal to the mass of the wood minus density of the liquid, volume of the wood, plus mass of the lead minus density of the lead, or density of the liquid, volume of the lead. So how are we going to solve this, right? We're trying to find the volume of the lead, so that's something we want to keep. And let's look at what we know and what we don't know. So density of the lead, we have that, that's a given. Mass of the lead, we don't have that. How are we going to use this mass of the lead? Like, how are we going to get rid of it? Because, you know, mass and volume are kind of related. So if you're thinking on that quarter, should thought, let's, let's go over here and think about this. So we know that density is equal to mass over volume. And we want to get rid of this mass, right? We want to get rid of it. So if you multiply over, you're going to get density times volume is equal to mass. So that's actually perfect, right? We're, what we know is we know the density and we're trying to find the volume, and we don't want to know the mass, right? We're trying to get rid of that. So what we can do is we can just substitute this in. So this is going to become density of the liquid times the volume of the lead. Um, hold on, what am I thinking? Uh, what am I doing? Oh no, that's the density of the lead, not the density of the liquid. So density of lead. And then of course, this is gonna stay the same. Let's see liquid volume, liquid, or volume of lead. All right, and then we go to this side. So what do we have? Mass of the wood, we do not have mass of the wood. And we don't have volume of the wood. So how are we gonna calculate that? Well, that's gonna be pretty simple too. Uh, I'm sure you guys know how to find volume. So volume uh, of the wood is just gonna be equal to this, the, the product of all of it. So two five, wood length times width times height, 0 0.07. That's going to be equal to a number. <laughs> Where did I put that number? It's here. 0 0.01085 meters cubed. So then we have the volume of the wood. We have the density of the wood. We're trying to find the mass of the wood. Let's go back to our thing over here. We have that mass is equal to density times volume. Uh, what are we trying to find? The mass, of course. So our density of wood is 700. Our volume of wood is that number, 0 0.01085 is equal to mass of the wood. You do this, you get about um, 
five kilograms. So now we literally have everything we need to solve our equation. Uh, same thing here. So what we can do is we can plug in all these numbers, right? So zero is equal to, so the mass of the wood, 7.5, is that a nine? I think that's a nine. We have nine, five, minus density of wood, or density of the liquid here. Uh, what are we in? We're in water, right? Just normal water. Uh, yeah, just normal water. So density of water is a thousand times the volume of the wood, which is 0 0.01085. And then plus the density of the lead, Going to get to be one one three four five times the volume of the lead minus the density of the liquid one thousand volume of the lead. So basically, from here we can we just have this one unknown, right? We can solve for volume of the lead. Uh, to do that, uh, you're just gonna. I mean, I don't know. Like, do I have to tell you guys how to solve this? I didn't really write out these exact instructions, and I don't have the time to do that in my head. So if you do that, you're gonna get 3.147 times 10 to the negative four meters cubed. I'm gonna plug this into my calculator, make sure that's right, because I just made a mistake earlier and it cost me a lot of time. And yeah, that's the number I get, let's go, let's go. Oh, that's off by like one decimal. Okay, we're not gonna worry about that. Okay, rounding errors aside. Okay, so that's the volume of the lead. And what else am I trying to find? I'm trying to find, that's what we're trying to find, right? That's it? Oh, is there a part B to this? Oh, there is a part B. What's the part B? What's the mass of the volume of the lead? Easy peasy. Uh, let's do that. Same thing over here, right? We're trying to find the mass of it. So mass of the lead is equal to the density or the volume of the lead. So 3.147 times 10 to the negative 4 times its density, 11343. Plug that in. You get 3.57 kilograms. And there you go, that's the mass of the lead. There's the kit volume. Wow, very good. Yeah, so that's how you solve this problem. Uh, pretty difficult to question, in my opinion, but you just kind of have to map everything out and uh, think about like what equations you can use to plug things in just to get one equation. That's really what physics is all about. So yeah, good luck on your physics homework, guys. See you in the next one.